What's going on guys, Berserker here, and we are back for some more Agrarian Skies. Yeah, buddy. So, um, first thing I'm going to say, sorry about one of those episodes. Uh, I think it was 17, I think. Uh, just super f crappy frame rate. I don't know what happened. Two-thirds of the video is just absolute garbage. Um, I figured I would go ahead and post it. Because, you know, there I've seriously, like, lost a lot of videos. That's why I didn't post it, like, post videos for a while on this series. Uh, which I actually explained, and I think, in that video, which is pretty ironic. Um, but, yeah, no, I figured I'd post it anyways, so you guys know, like, what's going down. Um, you guys did notice that I had some stuff that I didn't have prior to, like, episode 17. There was probably a lot of stuff, uh, like, sprinklers and stuff. I seriously had like missed five or like five tries to recording. I think that was an English sentence. I have tried. I try. I had tried to record at least five times prior to that video, and you know each video I had done stuff, and you know I just like oh well we got over we gotta keep going we gotta keep trying to persevere and try to make videos for this series. I love this series. It's so much fun. Um, hence the reason there was a bunch of stuff done off screen again, stuff you guys wouldn't want to see, but uh. Yeah, no, uh, good stuff, though. Good stuff. And, uh, yeah, no, uh, hopefully you guys, uh, enjoy the, uh, stuff that I, uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to record this, record and post this. Uh, fun fact, uh, action, action. If you guys remember a few episodes ago, like a month and a half ago at this point, actually, though, um, I bought a new recording software. It's called Action, Marilla's Action Recording Software. It's rated number one on, uh, this website that I actually kind of somewhat trust. Um, I can't remember what it's called, though. I think it's, like, topreviews.com slash, you know, recording software or some crap like that. Um, action's rated the number one. Um, I'm actually having problems with my action recording software. Uh, you know, I probably could troubleshoot a little harder than I have tried, but it's not recording. It'll record for, like, one take, and then I'll go to record another take, and it, like, doesn't work. So I'm like, whatever, fine, whatever. I'll buy a new recording software. That's my solution for everything. You should buy something else to try to fix my problems. Yeah, so pretty much that's uh that's my solution for everything. Um, fraps. I bought fraps. Everyone knows what fraps is. If you don't know what fraps is, then you really don't live in the internet world, do you? I'm sorry. You should. Uh, fraps is like the original original recording software. It super high like video files is like everyone's main complaint, but it works. Uh, hopefully, I'm using it now. I bought it. Whatever. We'll go with it. We'll just see what happens. So. uh... I know, I know, there's some other stuff I could probably use, Camtasia and all that stuff you're going to recommend. Um, Champcast. Uh, I feel like I'm going to, I called your name wrong, I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, no, uh, there's definitely uh, some stuff, but I'm definitely going to try out Fraps. We're going to see what happens, whatever, I bought it. If, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So, uh, what have I been doing off screen? You're probably wondering, since I did mention I've been doing stuff off screen. Well, I'm gonna come over here. Um, I've started Project Alpha Beta Sector Zero QS eleven fifty seven. That's what I'm gonna call it. That's the project name. Um, so yeah, I started that project, and it, it's been a little bit of work. It's not a whole bunch. Uh, I do have a little small tree farm over here temporarily. Um, I'm actually in need of dirt, so I set up this tree farm to shear leaves. And then the leaves come down here and go into uh, barrels, and the barrels make dirt. This is one of the tasks, one of the things I've been doing. But Project Alpha Beta Sector, uh, whatever I said, code Alpha 1157. I think that actually might have been it. I have removed the island. This is Project Alpha Beta Sector code 1157. I removed the island. The house is gone. Everything has disappeared. I disappeared it. It was magic. I think this world feels so much cleaner now. It feels so good. Oh, um, yeah. No, I took the liberty of removing the house and the island. Um, this was actually like you guys. I've been telling you this is one of my major project ideas that I wanted to do. Was to remove the island and make our own. So uh, that's kind of what I've been doing. I that's why I'm making dirt. We're making our own island over there. This is going to be our magical island. I explained this in the last episode, the good episode, episode 18, I believe. And, uh, yeah, that, that's a magical biome over there, so we're going to put all of our magical stuff over there. I'm kind of right now mapping out the island itself. And, uh, yeah, no, we got some 
animals and stuff spawning over there. We got good stuff going on in the series. I like it. It's good so far. Um, but yeah, no, that's pretty much what I worked off on, worked on off screen. Uh, we're now officially building our islands, which is good news. Very, very good news. I will be doing most of building off screen though, because removing this island and like building out this platform probably took several dozen hours. That's a lie. It probably took about five because I had to remove it all and then making stone brick and it's just a pain in the butt. But, uh, yeah, no, that's what we've been doing. I do have some stuff to set up for today's episode. Uh, I have some good ideas. So, I think we should go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, um, one of the first couple things I want to do is I decided to do this just several minutes before recording. I want to catch some of these, like, cows and sheep and chickens that I'm actually getting spawned over on my, uh, my biome pad over there. So the way we're going to do that, I believe, is with a net. I believe it's called a net. Um, yes, a safari net. This is what I want. Safari net single use, safari net reusable. We don't have gas here, so we do have one. We have a couple, but maybe I think we can get away with a single use for now. Uh, what are we missing? Leather. Oh, oh that could... Imp leather. Uh, okay, well, never mind then. Maybe we can't. Okay, well, never mind then. I guess we're not going to be doing that. Uh, we could probably make the single use and probably catch a cow. Um, that's not a terrible idea. Uh, oh, wait, we can make a couple of these. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, look at that! We made three of them! I didn't realize we had that many gas tears. I feel special now. I like it. Good special. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to come over here. And we actually have a, a, a mission over here. Part of our tasks for today. Uh, so mm. we just want to catch a cow. Cool. Um, we'll catch... Eh, we can catch a pig. No, there's nothing wrong catching a pig. Uh, I don't need a sheep. Tell you the truth. Uh, cause wool is kind of not necessary. I can kind of just get, you know, uh, string from like the sapling, like doing the, oh, silkworms, I think. So, uh, we're, we're going to get a chicken. I think those are some like three really solid mobs that we should definitely have in our, uh, in our essential barn, our fake virtual barn that we have set up over here in our nest. So cow, chicken, pig. Okay, well, I need inventory. This sucks. Okay, well, those are going to go there. And I forgot to do our, our quest over here that I had said we were going to do. Um, So that quest is we need to enchant some more boots. I've been enchanting stuff off screen quite a bit. I'm not getting any good enchants. Uh, our boots right now suck. Fire protection for last stand two. I mean, what does Last Stand 2 do? Oh, goodness gracious me. Last Stand 2. Is there anything that uh that tells me what Last Stand 2 does? Oh, God. I'm going to have to look it up, aren't I? Okay, we're going to do on-screen lookup real quick. Okay, Last Stand 2... Enchantments. Okay. So how's everybody's day going? Hopefully pretty freaking fantastic. Uh, my day's been going pretty good. Um, it's from Open Blocks Mod. Is this last stand? Um, is an enchantment from Open Blocks Mod. The enchantment has two tiers: last stand one, and last stand two. The last stand enchantment win on armor will prevent the player from dying. <gasps> This is done by using XP as the health source. If the player has 0.5 hearts or 1 health left, their future damage will be channeled through their XP first. If this is not enough XP, if there's not enough XP to prevent death, they will die. The first tier will use about 5 to 7 levels each hit, while the second tier will use about 1 level each hit. These enchantments can be obtained from about level 1 to 7. That is freaking beautiful i love it that is so cool that is probably the coolest enchant i think i've ever seen i love that idea that is freaking brilliant 
Holy crap. Okay. Well, my life just became a whole lot happier knowing that I kind of have less of a chance of dying physically. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at how many more hits I can take now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I can take like 32 more hits. Oh, it's beautiful. Blow up all these monsters. Oh, look at all this XP that's going to be flowing in in here in a second. Oh, look at it. So good. So good. Okay, well, I'm, I'm happy now. I've got 33 extra hits, essentially. I like it. Okay, well, um, there's that enchant. I'm actually super stoked about that. I love that enchant idea. That is just so good. Okay, well, that's uh, the first task for this episode, was to get that done. Um, another task, we actually are going to be going back to the nether. Uh, hence the reason I'm enchanting a lot. Uh, we do. I need nether brick so bad. I need it so bad. It's not even funny. It is a little bit, but we do need nether brick for quite a few things that we're working on. Um, now... I think there is another way. We don't actually have to go to the nether at all. I think if I use, like, I have a an auto miner thing that if you shoot it into the void, it gives you random, like, items. Essentially, like, random ores. And I think it could give you, like, random, like, marilli or mycelium. Not mycelium. Uh, like, manalium, uh nether ore. And that's how you like you put that into like I think it's like a in, uh, smelter of some sort, and it gives you like nether uh, nether rack and like the manilium mycelium. I don't know. Oh, it's a weird word. Um, so there is that way, but I feel like we should go to the nether. I don't want to go to the nether. That is in no way, shape, or form do I ever want to go to the nether ever again. But. It's a lot quicker than doing that, because then I have to go set it up. I have to somehow transport power. It's just a whole freaking thing I don't want to deal with. So, uh, another portal. Um, if, as you guys remember from the last episode, if you did watch the whole thing, which I really hope you did, um, for some reason we literally could not break the portal with our pickaxe. Um, for some reason, I don't know what happened. I think it was under Tinker's Construct. Uh... You physically couldn't, can't break obsidian with uh, a pickaxe, with a diamond pickaxe. Apparently, it's not diamond level, but an obsidian like Tinker's tool is. I don't, I couldn't tell you. I don't know, but an obsidian Tinker's pick does work to break obsidian. So there is that. Um, so we're gonna go back to the Nether today, which just sounds awful. I need to find that flint steel that I nearly almost forgot. Um, so I did get a couple suggestions, so a couple really good comments from the last episode. Um, one was to use fences, and we're going to fence off our nether, our nether portal, which is what, you know, we're going to do today. Um, another comment I got was about the peaceful table. Uh, I looked into the peaceful table. It's a table in which, uh, you place, like, a sword in it, and it'll, like, spawn a mob, and then it'll kill it and give you its drops. Super cool idea. I like it. But I think you have to be in peaceful, for one. Which, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I could put everything in peaceful and then I wouldn't have to worry and I could just get the mob drops that I need. True. I don't know if you get experience, for one. And two, uh, I don't know, it just feels kind of scummy. I mean, I can, I think I'm, I think I'm good enough to play on, like, normal. And, like, the nether would be too easy if I set it on peaceful and walked in, grabbed the nether rack I needed went both peaceful and then like came back that just seems cheaty so we're not gonna do that um what we are gonna do though is we're gonna set up our nether portal um i'm gonna set it up over here i feel like i had something else i needed to talk to you guys about like another project i wanted to work on today i think it was food i think it might have been food but i'm realizing now that we're not really prepared for food yet so we'll work on that another time so Crap, I'm also realizing something else now. Uh, I'm gonna grab these. We can actually place the obsidian on here. I don't want to lose any more obsidian. You know, it's not that hard to get, to tell you the truth. But, you know, there's no point in me wasting it. 
So why would we do that? Is essentially what I'm getting at. So we need this fence post back because we need every single one we can get because the nether is evil. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go cobblestone, cobblestone. Ignore all the really loud barking noises and oh, you son of a game. Um, yeah, there's there's quite a few noises going on upstairs now. It's quite annoying. Um, what, what, why did I grab one, like two pieces of cobblestone? What is my, <sighs> this day is not my day, today is not my day. What, why, what, excuse me? I just broke a stone slab with an axe. Are, what? Where's the logic? What? Did I? What? Why does that break so fast? What is going on? Oh no, I think my game is broken. I broke my game. That's a lie, I don't really think I broke my game, but... Three... I'm also realizing... Oh my word. I, I really suck at life today. It's okay, guys. Uh, I'm realizing that I, uh... I built my portal wrong. How long have I been playing Minecraft? I don't know. Not long enough. Actually, you know, I could have left that block I just broke there, but whatever. This is going to take a while, isn't it? This sucks. Okay, well, I have an idea to fix that. What we're going to do is we're actually going to come over to here. I'm going to come over here first. We're going to drop down here, and we need... Are you kidding me? Why? That stupid freaking right click of the freaking digger tools. Why would you place an obsidian block? They should make an exception for obsidian blocks. Oh my god. Okay. Um, let me grab these. And we're going to go upgrade our pick. We're going to upgrade our obsidian pick here. Because, you know, I don't want to deal with this. You know, by the time I'm done with this, I quite literally could have, uh, quite literally could have been done. But, uh, let's see here. Part? Part? Is it a parts table? I think it might be the part table. Part table doesn't sound right, though. It's not the part table. Um, table. Was it, it, not the stencil. It was the, uh, tool table. There we are. I knew I had the freaking thing in here somewhere. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take our riff, our pickaxe here, and if you stick redstone, does this not have any, uh, room for, uh, huh. Uh, any room for, uh, modifiers? Uh. Okay, game. Don't lie to me. I know you're lying to me. Okay. You're telling me that, why can't I put a modifier on here? Is it because it's damaged? No, that logic doesn't make any sense. Okay, we'll break down a... Maybe I... Apparently, I have no idea what I'm doing, so it's okay, guys. You're supposed to be able to... Why can't I put any uh, modifiers on this? Okay, guys, I am back. So, I went ahead and freaking fix the portal now that I found out that I freaking can add freaking modifiers to my pickaxe. <laughs> okay, so we're we have to we have to be super quick agile and uh very very effective with our block placing here because stuff is about to get super real super quickly. So 
I, I don't even know if I can handle like what's about to happen here, but I I think I think I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Now, I do realize that this does not make me immune or safe from, like, flying creatures or anything of the sort. I just know that this right here makes me feel 100,000 times safer than anything I was before. So what we can do now, very, very slowly, expand outward. I, I couldn't even tell you how I just placed those blocks right there, to tell you the truth, but... Oh god! Okay, well, uh... I mean, yeah, no, that, that there, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So, couple things, in case you guys don't know. First thing, don't ever, ever break oars in the nether don't ever break oars in the nether that's what i read that's what i've been told don't ever break oars in the nether sorry about that uh dog started barking i just this app these this series just does not want to happen for some reason like it's just one interruption after another i'm so sorry guys truly am i literally just had to like severely calm myself down from the uh from anger a large quantity of anger. <laughs> uh, I just, I wish I could just record in peace and quiet. Like, is that too much to ask? <laughs> Apparently. So, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, don't ever break oars in the nether. Bad, bad, very, very bad, 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 very bad things will happen to you. Um, so, as far as I know, you break oars in the nether bunch of monsters or bunch of pigmen come swarming at you from all directions and just eat your face off. I think that's what happens. Pretty much about what happens is what I've been told. So, oh no, Mr. Fire, no, you're not allowed. Okay, I'm sorry, this episode might be really weird, random, and I, there's a very good chance I could die. It's just so weird that I can break the other end. Oh, good gravy. That quickly. With an axe. Ah! Oh! Too quick! It's too strong! Uh oh. You guys? I've got a really bad feeling! This thing's gonna mine too quick and it's gonna break a bunch of nether ore! Oh god! I don't feel good anymore! I wanna go home! I wanna go home! No, um, seriously though, uh. We need to get a gate, another a fence gate. I, I really need to fill in that hole. I'm so gonna fall in that hole. You guys are gonna laugh at me. Okay, uh, clear this gate. Need a fence gate. Okay, sprint back to the nether, to the nether, and I'm gonna grab. A whole poop ton of ore. Not ore. You know what I mean. A poop ton of netherrack. Because if I can help it, I never want to ever, ever come back ever again. Look at all this ore. What is this? Like, do I have a... Rudolite ore? Like, what is that for? I need my manilium to harvest that like I don't even have that okay no you know what actually I want to leave that open um 
I don't want to see that pigman. I don't want to fight that pigman. I'm just gonna mine out this hole right here. This thing mines so freaking quickly. Huh. There's an ore there. Can't mine that. What is it? Uh, it can't be mined anyway, so I don't think I could. Which is good. What I want to hear. Um, so you're probably wondering, like, oh, yeah, you only need a couple, like, nether bricks for, like, your entire life. Why are you grabbing so much? Because I never want to come back ever again. Ever. So if I can get, like, uh, 16 stacks of netherrack, I'm going to get 16 stacks of netherrack. No, Mr. Pikmin, no. Don't you dare see me. Please, no. No. Oh god! Oh god, see bad things, bad things, bad things, bad things, very bad things. Oh dear lord, no. Oh god! Oh god, what's going on? Oh god, what's going on? No 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 please don't please no Please no, please no, please no, for the love of Pete, no. Oh, for the love of Pete, no. Oh, for the love of Pete, no. For the love of Pete, no. For the love of Pete, no. I'm about to die. I'm about to oh, you son of a poop. Oh. I told you bad things would happen. Why didn't I just take what I had and leave? <laughs> Why did I have to be so greedy? <laughs> ah! No! What is this? No! Oh God! No! What is going on? No, 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 no! What the hell? No! No, no, no! That's unacceptable! No, that can't be! That's not right! That's impossible! I can't play this game anymore if I can't get back up! No! Oh, lordy, no! What the hell? No, 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 no! Oh, no! No! Oh, no! Despawn! Please despawn! Walk off the edge! No! Hello? 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 Ah! Look at them all! Look at them all! Get off my land! Get off my land! No! 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 Oh god, no! What have I done? What have I done? Oh lordy, no. Oh god, no. Okay, um, um... This, this, uh, this, uh, uh, freaking. Oh! Oh, I need a sword! Uh, this! Uh, this! Uh, pants! I didn't make any more pants because I had really good pants! Pants! Helmet! Pickaxe! Uh, uh, bop, da! Boop, 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 boop! Da, bop, boop, 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 boop! Yeah, it was better. Uh, fire protection three, uh, fire protection four is definitely better. Uh, unbreaking three, uh, is better than f uh, what? I don't know. I know unbreaking three is bad. Oh god, what have I done? I don't even care about the dog barking. Oh god, what have I done? Uh, um, 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 I, I need full, like, full blown reaction time right now, like. I, I need- I hear the dog barking. I'm sorry. Like, bad quality, but 
You guys need to give full blown reaction time right now. Okay, I am gonna pause the recording for two seconds until he shuts the hell up. Okay, I think he's done. I think he's done. Oh god, what have I done? Oh god, what have I done? Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Just give me the nether rack and I'll go. Give me the nether rack and I'll go. I don't know what this book is, but I'll take it and I'll go. Oh, oh god, there's so many mites. Okay, I'm going. I'm out. I'm GTFO. I'm so GTFO right now. I'm GTFO. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, 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 how do I close the portal? How do I close the portal? Oh god, the fire mites are back. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't knock me off. Oh, 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 oh. Shut up, man. No one asked you. so bad i like seriously i i know never ever again never again oh my god no never again oh okay so somehow i guess since they launched me in the air i got a random fall resistance one book i don't know what that's about um and then there's some in of our boots i don't know how or why i got these weird like i guess it, maybe it was like those guys dropped it those mat those like fire gnats fire mites i don't know what the hell to call them firefish the fire silverfish dear lordy no never again i've got more than enough netherrack i will live for eternity on this i will i will go to the ends of the earth to make sure i never have to go back to that hellhole ever again that was so bad that was so bad. It went to shit so fast. It wasn't even funny. It was not even funny. I hit one ore and they just swarmed me. There were 60 of them. Like, what was I supposed to do? Ah! Okay, well, uh, yeah, no, uh, no. Yeah, no, no. No, never, ever again. Never again. I'm gonna go freaking uh, go hide our bountiful loot our bountiful loot i'm gonna hide in my ae system some creepers gonna be stroll up and blow up everything it's gonna ruin my day <sighs> freaking heck man okay so what do we do with our nether brick or nether rack now that we have it well we need to make nether brick good gravy dude no i'm just no no, never again. That was evil. <laughs> I had to sneeze. I was trying to find a mute button on my mic. I couldn't. I failed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to stop recording, but then, you know, I had to start the recording. I'm sorry. Ah. I'm not in a good place right now with my soul. It's very upset. Okay, four nether brick equals a nether brick. I need, like, four of these. That's all. That's all I ever needed was, like, four freaking nether brick. <laughs> I got two now. I can make something with two. Seriously though, like, straight up. What the- No! No! What is going on? What's wrong with my world? Liquid transposer, I think is what I needed. I think I might be wrong now. That really freaking sucks. 
I need a magma crucible. Magma, magma. It's called a magma crucible. This is what I needed. Okay, well. I actually have a tear coming to my eye now. That's not good. I, I, work, I overworked my, uh, my soul. Uh, we need to make a leadstone energy cell, which actually shouldn't be too bad. Except for the fact that all of our freaking, 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 freaking redstone is over here by in Creepersville. Hello. Boop. No, well, you're not supposed to launch that far. Die. Oh, get that. Oh. Huh. Ha. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Knocked me into the hole. No! What is going on? Where's my luck today? Where in the hell did my luck go? Uh, today is not a good day for Hunter. I'm so. I'm so. Ah! There's a lot of darkness. <laughs> me. <laughs> oh god, this is probably my favorite episode of this series so far. It is so e so easily my favorite episode. Oh, lordy lordy lordy. Okay, redstone block. Boop. Let's grab one of these and then we're making a magma. See like Am I typing magma wrong, or am I just silly? Matt, where? M-A-G-M-A. -A. I was doing M-A-G-A, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. I'm an idiot. It's okay. I understand. I was typing it wrong. Okay, what are we missing here? Well, first off that. Uh, why does it keep doing that? Okay. Magma. Magma, magma. There we go. Okay, well, it needs this and this, and then copper? Is that what it was saying? Copper. I don't have any copper. You're telling me I don't have any copper. I call it BS. I think you'll get some, though. Copper. Tin. Copper. Gold. Copper? Copper! Sorry if my nose sounds stuffy. I think, like, I literally knocked, like... I don't know, tears or just sadness into my soul. And now I have like a runny nose <laughs> and a tear in my eye. And I got a magma crucible. Ah! Okay, well, I got my magma crucible. The freaking thing I've been needing for like a century and a half now. The whole freaking reason we had to go to the nether. Not once, not twice, but three times. <sighs> I just, I can't even deal right now, you guys. I'm sorry. So sorry. This episode may be all over the place, and if you don't see this episode, so help me, I will burn this world to the ground. That's not true, but I will be super duper upset. Okay. Grab that. Don't need that anymore. I didn't need it in the first place, to tell you the truth, but it was there. Magma Crucible. Get power. Eat that power. Eat it good. Okay. <sighs> okay. I'm in a good place now. I'm, I'm feeling better. Feeling better about life. Oh! Suck a dick! Hopefully you didn't just hear me swear like that. Okay. I tried to freaking press... Freaking backspace, I freaking pressed F11. Grr, I'm back in a bad place. Okay, what was I about to type in? Freaking book. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I love episodes where I'm just super, like, myself. I love it. Okay, well, we killed three, three zombies, we'll claim that. 
Uh, that noise always makes me feel better about myself. Highway to Hell! Look at that! I'm never doing that! So, that quest is never gonna be completed. Fun fact! No! Okay, Redstone Energy Conduit. Freaking A! Okay, what do we need for this? Stone Energy Conduit! Energy Conduit! Uh, redstone energy conduit what? Empty. Electrum and hardened glass? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be freaking kidding. I need an induction smelter. Life is just, just all over the place today. Okay, how does one make an induction smelter? Induction smelter. Oh, that's super simple. Oh, that is super simple. Oh, that'd be super simple. Grab a couple of those guys. Get uh, one of these guys. And we'll grab a couple of these guys. You know what? So just we have some extras. And boom! Look at that induction smelter. My my friends. My home dogs. My homie G's. Okay. Empty frame. Electrum ingot. How do we get electrum? We get an Electrum Blend, which is freaking silver plus gold. That is simple. I can do that. How do we get hardened glass? We take the light and we take the pulverize the city in. Why did I go Italiano? I could not tell you. What is wrong with this episode? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. It's so good. Okay. I really want to try my best to act more like this on camera because... Seriously, this is a good episode. This is my really my most proud episode I've of anything I've recorded in a very long time. I'm about to die. Ah, okay. Enderman, so help me. Yeah, you better walk off. Yeah, you better. Ooh, I'm fired up today. Okay. What was I coming over to grab? I was coming over to grab a power conduit. Power conduit, conduit, conduit. Seriously, though, where's my, where's my power cables? No, that that was a serious question. Where are my power cables? No, guys, seriously, where are my power cables? There's fluid ducts. Nope, there's none over there. Uh, don't tell me I used them all. You're a liar. Uh, okay. I keep wanting to type cable. It's not a cable. It's a conduit. I think it's literally conduit. Yeah, it's conduit. Oh, they're in here. Boom! Look at that. Bada boom. Jump back up here. Okay. I'm gonna place this pup down uh, right about there. Look at this. Watch this. Bada boom. And then we're gonna grab this guy and gotta go abada boom. And then you look at this and I gotta go abada boom. Okay, so we actually need some obsidian now. Um, obsidian and what was it? Lead? I think it lead. Lead. It was lead. Um. So, uh, how does one do this effectively? Effectively? Well, that's a good question. We need ourselves an igneous extrudder. Igneous ig. Ne, e, e, igneous extruder. <gasps> we don't have one. I call shenanigans. Got one somewhere. Over here. <gasps> igneous extruder. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, that was a little out of key. I'm sorry. I, that hurt your ears. Okay, so we need. Yeah, eh. yeah, okay, and we need what ta ta ta, eh. a q u a aqueous accumulator. Gotta go like this. I gotta go a bada boom, okay, and then this guy should be taking in the water like a man. Well, taking in water like a man. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Take that any way you like. Don't take it the wrong way. That's all I'm gonna ask. 
shouldn't this be producing water in a fairly, fairly quick rate now? Fairly quick rate of succession. Well, we'll just grab another water bucket. How's that? How's that sound, game? How does that make you feel? Uh, punk. Okay. Uh, we'll just use fences because you know what? Yellow side. Just in case we we'll use these. Bada boom! Look at this. Look at it fill up now. Okay. No, wait. We, we don't want cobblestone. We want obsidian. 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 We'll just make a stack of obsidian. I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. Uh, we're stealing from our main source of lava over here, but I think, honestly, I think it'll suffice without, uh, you know, maybe, like, 64 buckets of lava. I think it'll suffice. It'll live to see another day. I swear it's true. Okay. I'm gonna drop this off, and 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 this yeah, this off, and this off, and the, yeah, this off, this off, I didn't actually want to drop off my axe, to tell you the truth, but whatever, we'll go with it. Okay. So that's what's going down. We'll take these ten, and I think that'll be good for now. Uh, we need lead. Do we have any lead in here? Lead. We have some. We have. A, we got quite a bit of lead in here. Hey, a tapa de chia. Okay. Uh, we need to go over here and uh, oh, we grab the rest of our another brick. That's pretty cool. Pulverizer. We're gonna pulverize some obsidian. Don't you dare, game. I freaking flip out. I'm gonna drop this off in here so I don't lose it. So I probably would. Um, how are things running over here? Oh, you know what? Things stopped. I actually kind of really like this self-regulating system. Um, I actually don't need ores like this, this system over here, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about. Um, I actually don't need that many like ores all the time. Like, yeah, it would be nice, but like, I don't like, I don't feel like I need that much. Uh, maybe when it comes down to it, like, I think if we go take a look over here in for the hoarding because I think I have this open now most of it um something as far as like is there anything that's ore required like majorly ore required uh okay um push it like 100 pistons that's easy Glass house, like, 64 glass, that's pretty easy. Seared stones, like, I think that's relatively easy. Like, an, one end stone, that's it? I can get one end stone, that's freaking easy. Sand storage, I could probably get one compressed sand. I don't know about, like, 6,400 million compressed sand, but... Like... You know, ten, like a hundred thousand wood, ten thousand wood. No, that's definitely a hundred thousand wood. Like, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. But like, a lot of that stuff isn't. Uh, it doesn't look. Uh, it doesn't look that bad. Nah. <coughs> okay. So what are we working on? Uh, pulverize the city. That's what we're gonna grab. We're gonna grab that. Stick some lead in the adduction smelter. Like this and like this, and it's gonna make us some hardened glass. Okay, two hardened glass is all we need, but we're gonna make a couple more because you know why not. Um, so what do we need the hardened glass for? We needed it for the red uh, red stone, red stone, red stone thing. This thing right here. Oh, we actually have Electrum! Ha-ha! Look at that! Aren't we lucky? Energy Conduit. There we go. Okay, now we need some actual, like, physical redstone. Just take that. Come over here. Okay, now. What we need to do is actually take this, and we're going to turn off all the sides to all these blocks, just to make sure that uh, nothing's going where it doesn't need to go. Okay, so we actually need to open up the left face of this because 
Actually, it's uh, the orange face. And what we need to do is actually melt down some redstone. Now, I don't know how much redstone we actually need, but what we need to do is actually allow intake from the magmatic crucible to the fluid transposer. And then, as you can tell right here, uh, what we do is... Essentially, what this does is it takes the destabilized redstone and puts it into these uh, energy conduits. So it makes the redstone energy conduit, which is what we needed for our quest. And three trips to the nether later, we actually have completed a quest this episode. The official quest. This episode's probably like 40 minutes long, but whatever. You know what? We're going to go with it because it feels good. Manual detect. Look at that. Quest complete. We get to pick a reward. Do we want a culinary generator, a r heated redstone generator, or a high temperature furnace generator? We want a, well, actually, let's take a look. Generators. Okay. So it was heated redstone generator. Generates RF using lava and redstone. Can also turn off of molten redstone from thermal expansion. Can also run off of molten redstone. Okay, uh, I don't know about that. That sounds pretty cool, but I mean, whatever. Uh, culinary. Probably runs on like meat, I think. Generates RF using food. The fulfilling... Wait, the fulfilling the food, the more RF is generated, the more saturating the food, the longer the generator will run. So, uh... So the more fulfilling, so like in vanilla Minecraft, like a cooked beef, like a cooked piece of steak is better for you than like an uncooked. So it's saying like if we cook it and then stick it in, it'll run better. <clears throat> that's kind of cool. I mean, that's, uh, I mean, that's, you know, whatever. Cool. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, what was the other one? It was a high temperature furnace generator. It generates RF using regular furnace fuel. A very ineffective generator with an initially low energy output, but as its internal temperature rises, its energy output rises. That's actually kind of cool. Um, high temperature. I mean, it uses furnace fuel, so like coal. We got a fair bit of coal. The other one uses redstone and lava, and the other one was food. Um... Now, here's my thinking on this. We need to transport power around our base. Obviously, we've got power over here because we have this whole huge lava gen down here. We can make... Now, we can officially make a... Uh, I believe it's called an ender... Ender... Uh, uh, an ender thing. That's helpful, right? An ender thing. What is it called? Uses. No, not... Uses. Um. Oh, crap on my face. Crap on my face. Um. I I I can't think of what it's called. It's it's a uh, freaking uh, transporty thingy. Oh my goodness. I my my brain is just all over the place today. I am so sorry. I've probably already passed it, haven't I? doesn't exist maybe i'm actually wrong up oh, oh, there it is trans trend tra, tra, tesseract tesseract that's the thing i was talking about which requires iridium and iridium ingots and iridium enderium enderium blend plus pyrothium dust huh how do you get sulfur Oh my word, I thought this was going to be an easy task. Oh no. 
How do you make an Endurium? Pulverized tin. Pulverized shiny plus resident ender. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my word, never mind. I thought that was going to be an easy one, but apparently not. So, as I was about to say, uh, we need to transport power. I was going to say we could transport power from over here with using the Tesseracts. But, I think it'd be kind of cool to use energy, like different energy source on each island. So, uh, seeing as how we have all these really actually kind of neat generators. Um, we can use a different one kind of for each island. So, something like... Obviously, we have the lava generator over here, but, like, uh, the culinary one would be really cool for our farms. For, like, you know, we're going to have a meat farm eventually, so we can have food. Uh, when Like, an animal farm. This would be perfect for over there. Uh, potions would be kind of cool for over by the, uh, the magic land. Like, the magic island. That'd be pretty cool. Um, solar would be pretty cool for farms, I think. Maybe, unless they have, like, a... Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. I was going to say, like, a, uh, wind generator. That's pretty cool. A, uh, a seed generator? But, uh, no, a solar generator? That sounds pretty cool. That seems relatively easy to make. Um, generates RF using large sunlight to generate, creates large amounts of power from direct sunlight. However, there is a problem. The generator cannot generate power and transmit it at the same time. You must switch between the two modes by applying a redstone signal. That's an interesting concept right there. See, like, we can have, like, one generating power throughout the day and then, like, one transmitting power and, like, have it, like, alternating or something. I don't know. It's going to be weird. It's going to be interesting. I think it's pretty, 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 pretty cool. I just said pretty five times. That was pretty cool. Um, but I think that is going to be about it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating down below as always. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this episode. I know I talked a lot and I'm talking really, really fast right now, but I'll slow it down for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. If you guys did like it, don't forget to leave a like, a comment. And if you want to do a favor, let people know about this channel. If you really do like it, if you enjoy it. Um, you know, spread the word. It's kind of nice. It allows other people to come join. And then they can also put their tips and thoughts into this series. And we can increase it and make it even better. Um, if you have any tips or tricks or you'd like me to try something or make something, let me know. Uh, if there's anything that maybe would help progress my uh, not dying, that would be helpful. Um, we've got about uh, almost two stacks of dirt. It looks like uh, we ran out of saplings because we ran out of bone meal. So, uh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty, pretty much going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. And I will see... Spider, I will kill you. I will see you guys next time. Peace! Uh, are you kidding me? I just completely failed my outro. Thanks a lot, Mr. Spider, you dick. Yeah, dick. Okay, bye.